Hey there! Today we're going to talk about risk tolerance in investing and using iShares all-in-one ETFs as an example. First, let's take a look at the different ETFs and their risk levels. XEQT has the highest risk level at 9 to 10 with 100% equity. XGRO has a risk level of 7 to 8 with 80% equity and 20% fixed income. XBAL has a risk level of 5 to 6 with 60% equity and 40% fixed income. XCNS has a risk level of 3 to 4 with 40% equity and 60% fixed income. Lastly, XINC has the lowest risk level at 1 to 2 with 20% equity and 80% fixed income. So what's the difference between equity and fixed income? Equity represents ownership in a company. So when you invest in equity, you become a shareholder. The value of your investment can fluctuate depending on how well the company is doing. On the other hand, fixed income represents loans that you make to a company or government. This means that you'll receive a set amount of interest on your investment, regardless of how well the company is doing. Now, how does this affect your portfolio? Well, if you have a high risk tolerance and are comfortable with fluctuations in the market, then you may want to invest more heavily in equity. However, if you have a lower risk tolerance and prefer more stable returns, then fixed income may be a better option for you. Overall, it's important to understand your own risk tolerance when investing and to choose investments that align with your goals. iShares All-in-One ETFs from BlackRock offer a convenient way to invest in a diversified portfolio that matches your risk tolerance.